So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the farm. I hope you are having a beautiful, gorgeous, ah, oh, 77 degrees today. I love it, love it, love it. Easter weekend. Yes, it is. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday. Some of you may call it Resurrection Day. Absolutely. Potato, potato. It's all about Jesus, okay? It's, it's, just, it's just the bottom line. Tomorrow is Easter. You may choose to celebrate the resurrection later into April. That's fine. This is not what this video is about, okay? You need to pay attention. Please pay attention because this is so important and so critical for so many people to hear this message. I first want to thank the, this uh, unbelievable message that Joe Biden is putting out for everyone for this weekend, because you know what it does? It's called, when people show you who they are, you best believe them, okay? And I want to thank him for that, because it really doesn't matter who you are, where you are, um, and you can live in a world of darkness should you choose, but the bottom line is, it is so obvious that you are continuing to be baited, Okay, you're continuing to be baited. Okay, my dog in my house could probably recognize when something is being baited. So therefore, I do believe you guys out there are so smart and ha are just wonderful people and understanding what is being done here on a on a crisis level every single day in this country. The bottom line is, is if we are divided as a people, then we cannot come together to stand against a greater evil. You are in the biggest spiritual battle ever waged on man. It's been here forever, but it's amping up. It is absolutely amping up. And I, I am thankful for one, act, one, like I said, one thing about this. They make it more obvious as the days go by. Okay, I want to tell you right now that if you are a Christian, don't be baited. That's what they want from you. So they can turn it around and flip it on you greater and even harder. That is the war that is being waged upon you right now. Absolutely double down on spreading the gospel and spreading the good news that Jesus died for all of us. That is what they don't want you to tell everyone about. They want us instead debating other things or being upset about other things or being poked in the eye and giving a reaction to just absolute crazy town. <clears throat> Nope, I'm passing. I'm going to pass on that. I see what you did there. Thank you for showing. I, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to buy me another Bible. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for making it so obvious. Guys, I'm going to say this to you right now. Speak to everyone you know. And do not be ashamed. To tell everyone that you know how much you love the Lord Jesus Christ and everything that he gave for all of us. Do not spend your precious time this weekend with the infighting on social media about things that don't know if they are pineapples or oranges today. No, we're just not going to do that. This weekend specifically for the American public, for much of the American public, is a celebration about Jesus dying for us and coming back from death. It's done. It's finished. He lives. We won. The battle is won, okay? And I want you to understand as best you can for a lot of us that this is not just about what earthly beings and demonic spirits are doing. This is about the greatest love story man has ever known. And they don't want you to know about it. They don't want your children to know about it. They don't want you serving. Because see, when you serve the highest power that they're ever, that ever known, the most loving thing ever known. You don't serve humans. 
because you know the battle for you has already been won. So what do I say to you? Recognize again, as I've told you many, many times before, exactly where we are. Some days, I'm sure you're just like me. You look in, you go, okay, I get, what, what chapter in Revelation are we in today? I know, I know. You're just staring at so much right now. I know, I know, it's, it's incredible. What do you do about that? How do you, in your own human sense and brain and emotion, fight against this incredible thing that's waging war upon you, your soul, and especially your children? They want your children so bad. It's, it, it, it's like the preacher in the movie Poltergeist, didn't it? It, it? You're in that movie right now. Did you know that? Yeah, you're Carol Ann. They want you. They want your children. What do you do? You double down on that praying, sweetheart. You double down on preparing because you are you are just flat out in it. You are. Can you see it? Can you feel it? I hope so. And you stay peaceful. You be that onward Christian soldier with your armor on, walking forth. They're trying to break your spirit. They're trying to break your children's spirit. We live in a time that none of us thought that we would see, aren't we? I know. It's incredible. You have to accept it for what it is. But understand that we are bigger, better, and smarter than this. Don't be baited. I have gotten a tremendous amount of hateful comments this last week and I know why and I expected it and do you know in all the midst of that only three of those comments were subscribers to my channel and do you know that because we kept up with it and do you know my numbers continue to grow you know why that is because people want truth people want boldness People want to be led by people and be around people and have a community of people that are praying, that are preparing, and that are peaceful, and that are working for the greater good of humanity, all in the name of what is righteous. And even if you're not sure about where you stand spiritually, religiously, however you want to call it, let me remind you today that Jesus Christ died for you. He died for me. Accept him, love him, repent. You are in the greatest spiritual battle ever known. And it's going to continue. It's going to break all of us to the point to where this is what we have remaining. They're trying to break you down. They're trying to divide us all. Don't give it to them, guys. Don't give it to them. Regardless of what you know is coming, stand tall in knowing that Jesus died for you. No. Who? No. No. You're not going to take away my celebration. You're not going to take away me sharing my love for Jesus with my children. You know what? After I, after I do my quick run here and milk my goat and whatnot, I'm going to run some errands later. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spread the word even harder. And you know what is amazing? That when you decide and you become that bold and you're going to be doing these things, you're going to see things you've never seen before. And you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed. We have to stand together, folks. We have to stand together. I want to thank you for being here. And I want to thank you for your support. And I want to encourage you to be bold in the word of God. If you don't have a Bible and you would like a Bible, you can get on your search engine and you can literally find places that you can get a free Bible. You can go to a church and get a free Bible. You can probably go to a thrift store or to any type of like donation type store. A lot of times they have free Bibles. We do. 
You gotta look. Very easy, very easy. But get a hold of one and dive right into it. Be bold. I love you guys. Don't let the baiting, don't let them bait you. That's what they're doing. They're trying to get you to hate your fellow citizens. They're trying to get your fellow citizens to hate you. That doesn't come from a place of good. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. And it's a shame that things are being done the way that they are. It doesn't have to be this way, guys. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. Lost individuals are being pushed further down into the hole. And they're being taught to hate others. I don't hate anybody. I really don't. And for those that are persecuting, in a sense, anybody that is trying to stand up for the greatest good ever known to man, well, we're going to continue to pray for them. And we're going to stand up for God. And we're going to stand up for what we know is right. And that is to be peaceful. And that is to be praying. And that is to be preparing. Because look around, guys. It's what we're supposed to be doing. Don't stop. I love you guys. Appreciate you being here. Onward, Christian soldier. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I'm, I am... Uh, thank you, Lord. I hope some people are seeing what they need to be seeing. That's what I'm praying for. It's right there in front of you guys. The line is in the sand. God bless. God speed. I love you. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you, Jesus. I'll see you guys in the next video.